Plots are made both to provide useful results at summarizing an analysis as well as it to provide visually appealing results, possibly for demonstrations, talks, and the like. What you're looking at right now is a very standard type of a contour plot, which uh, presents the electric field on the surface of a high voltage insulator. And uh, the number of colors has been restricted so that there is a clear delineation between the different divisions of the electric field. You can see that the dark red color here its values between 8 and 7 kilovolts per centimeter. The orange color identified here is between 6 and 7 and so on down the list. This is a very functional type of uh, plot within a limited context, but it is not as visually appealing as people often look for and perhaps doesn't provide all the detail they're looking for as well. One of the alternatives is simply to plot with more colors, like this for example. However, now the reference scale is much more difficult to interpret. It looks a little more appealing because the change is more gradient, uh, more gradual, but uh, the reference scale doesn't even fit on the screen in this case and the font size would need to be reduced to bring it down. Furthermore, there's many subtle variations, so even though there's more information, it's hard to look at the screen and be sure of what you're looking at. So because of this, there's another option still where we could keep the number of colors at a minimum, like this. However, change the presentation to show gradients in color. And when we do this, now the dark red color is associated with the value, not the range. It's associated with the value of 8 kilovolts per centimeter. The orange is associated with 7 and so on. And you see the transitioning colors in between them instead. So this type of plot tends to be more visually appealing and for some purposes will also be considered much more informative as well. Depending on the context, people will find a variety of presentations to be more informative. Some other examples that we have available are the plain black line presentation which looks very messy in this particular case or the gray line alternative, as well as the colored line alternative. The colored line alternative is very much like the gradient option, except it not filling in the intermediate colors. So if we put the reference scale back again, then you can see that each one of these line colors is associated with a particular value of the electric field. Now, this type of plot is useful within a limited range like this where the electric field does not vary by much. However, in a model such as this one, which includes it, uh, much larger parts with much lower fields, you may not be able to get very useful information out of it, such a linear scale as this. So if we zoom out further here, you can see that within the total model there is a a large plot made of the electric field just above the ground as well as from the ground up to the high voltage wires. And the problem with this is that the total variation in the magnitude of the field spans many orders of magnitude. So we could experiment with, for example, the user range here. 
in order to bring out details in specific parts, but you can't find the user range which will show the entire plot in a useful way. Because of that, there is an option to present results in a logarithmic fashion instead. So if we return to 8 kilovolts per centimeter as the maximum and turn on the log scale and apply the settings, now you can see that uh, with 8 divisions we're dropping down every two colors on the reference scale is one order of magnitude. So we drop down by four orders of magnitude um, in a logarithmic fashion and that enables us to see the high field values near the wire and the low field values near the ground plane both on the same plot. So this uh, provides uh, a much easier way to get a global sense of the variation in a model like this and again makes for more pleasing presentations as well.